Hey, what's good, everybody? It's me, your hero, Benjamin Banks, and you're watching Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks, and it is a brand new episode of Who's That Cosplayer? And joining me today is somebody, like, I'm already excited. Like, you guys already know how I feel about JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Y'all know that I cosplay characters from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, and, you know, I... You know, I, I love to have a surprise whenever I do who's that cosplayer. It's like, I always tell the cosplayers that I'm interviewing, like, hey, you know, don't tell me who you're cosplaying as. I want it to be a surprise. And joining me today is, is Slappy Snifferdo, or would you prefer me to call you Snifferdo Cosplay? Um, Snifferdo Cosplay is fine. <laughs> okay, well, look, I love the whole entire name, but right now, Sniffer dude, they're cosplaying as my uncle, because you know I usually cosplay as Joe Taro from uh part four and part six. But Sniffer dude, thank you so much for joining me up here on Who's That Cosplayer? How are you doing today? I'm doing good. I'm glad to be here. Hey, I'm glad that you're here. Thank you so much for joining me on a brand new episode of Who's That Cosplayer. So before we get into today's interview, everybody that's watching, make sure that you like this video, you subscribe to the channel, and you hit that bell button so that way you're always notified when we have new content here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And as D always says, podcast link down in the description, like, follow, subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into today's interview. So Sniffer Dude, first off again, I love your Josuke cosplay. It's amazing. You know, when I was putting the slideshow together, well, even before I put the slideshow together, even before... You know, we set up this interview. I had checked out your page and I was just like, yo, I got to interview it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, it is crazy because I feel like uh, some people might say I'm biased, but I interview a lot of, you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cosplayers. But it's just like, I just love the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure cosplay community. You know, I mean, we all love JoJo and uh, you're going to be here on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. And I don't care what Trav and D say, but yeah, your, your cosplay is amazing, man. Oh, thank you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. And I also, too, got to give a shout out before we get into this interview to Jan Man Cosplays, who I interviewed up here on Who's That Cosplayer. And you can check out his interview. It is up here on YouTube. And because of Jan Man, like, that's how I met you. So, you know, pinkies up to you, Jan Man. Thank you so much for letting me interview you. And y'all make sure y'all check out that interview. So now to get to the first question, I always ask everybody this. What is your origin story? Every hero or villain has one. So tell everybody who Sniffer New Cosplay is. Um, Sniffer Deer Cosplay. So I guess I started cosplaying back in 2017. Um, I got really interested into it because back in the day I was on DeviantArt a lot and I saw lots of cosplayers. Um, and also at the same time, my family would do like family Halloween costumes where we would all do a big group of characters. Um, so me and my dad would always get extra excited about Halloween and kind of like work on the costumes all throughout the year. Um, and then I joined Instagram, I think at the end of high school. And, um, I'd like to shout out, there's someone named Lucas at, um, starrynight.cause and he was super duper friendly and I wanted to cosplay, but I was kind of shy and didn't know like how to go about it. So I reached out and asked him a ton of questions. Um, he was super sweet, super gracious, uh, and he helped me kind of like do my first cosplay and go to my first convention with my family, which was Gunk City Con. And um, I had a really fun time and I was like, I want to keep doing this. So I just kept playing with makeup and stuff. That's awesome, man. First off, I want to say that I think it's awesome that you just said super duper because I said super duper earlier today. And when I had said it, I was just like, I hope that the person doesn't think that I'm weird because I said super duper. I'm like, who uses super duper? And then you just said super duper. So that's like now that I feel even more excited now that I'm not the only person that says super duper. But I want to say to piggyback off of your origin story, I think it's awesome that you and your family, y'all celebrated Halloween together. And like, that was like your gateway into cosplay. And that's something that I hear from a lot of cosplayers. And to have the support from your dad. Now, is your dad, is he big into cosplay? Did he continue cosplaying and stuff as well? Or was it just like um, a Halloween tradition? So credit to him, he's the original sniffer dude. He just kind of made up that silly username. Hey. Um, me and my sisters all kind of took it and made our own variation. So mine is Slappy sniffer dude. Um, he does have a cosplay account. It's a uh, Furious.cause on Instagram. And nice. he does lots of superheroes, Marvel, DC. Um, 
and occasionally I'll get him to cosplay with me. So we'll do like All Might and Deku or like um, Guy Sensei and Rock Lee. And I love cosplaying with him. <laughs> That's awesome. I, you know, I, I know that I've interviewed cosplayers before where they told me like that their parents will, you know, they'll cosplay sometimes or they'll come to the conventions. But I think that it's awesome that like pretty much everybody in your family has a cosplay account and or we're well, not a cosplay account, but they're a cosplayer. And, you know, I'm glad that you told me how the Sniffer Dude name came about because I was talking about you before I had uh, did an interview this past weekend. And I was telling my co-host, I was just like, yo, like I'm interviewing somebody named Slappy Sniffer Do. And my co-host Trav, he was just like, yo, like where do cosplayers come up with these names? Cause like, it's, it's an awesome name. Like I've never heard something <laughs> like this Slappy Sniffer Do. Now, I mean, of course, I, I don't know what, when I think about Sniffer Do for some example, for some reason, I think about cookies. What are those cookies called? Uh, oh, the Snicker Doodles. Snickerdoodle, thank you. So like, yeah, when I hear Snifferdoo, like that's what I think. I think about Snickerdoo, but I think that that's awesome that like you come from a cosplay family and you know, your All Might and Deku uh, cosplay that you did with your dad, like it was awesome, man. Like My Hero Academia and JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, like those right now are my current top two anime right now. And then to piggyback off of something that you had said about superheroes, your Doctor Strange cosplay is amazing. Like, is Doctor Strange, is he your favorite Marvel superhero? Um, I think my favorite Marvel superhero has to be Spider-Man. But before Benedict Cumberbatch was Doctor Strange, I was really into Sherlock. Um, so I really like his acting. <laughs> nice. Now, I mean, spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen Multiverse of Madness, then you might want to skip this part. But I, I take it that you have seen Multiverse of Madness? Yes, uh, recently. <laughs> okay, so uh, how did you feel about the movie? Um, I thought it was good. It was a lot spookier than I like thought it would be going in. Um, I guess I had really high expectations. I thought it would go in lots of crazy directions, and it did. Yeah. But somehow it was a little more tame than I thought it would be. <laughs> yeah, like I, I agree with you on that. Like I was expecting Shrek to show up, Wolverine, <laughs> you know, that's the multiverse of madness. Like I was expecting Optimus Prime to come rolling through, but and I feel like everybody had high expectations for the movie. And I think that's what Marvel was banking on. It was just like, yo, so many people are gonna come see this movie because Goku's gonna be, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But um, no, I mean, it was still a good movie. And like you said, like I loved the, the horror elements that they had in the movie. You could definitely tell that it was a Sam Raimi movie, you know? And, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. But compared to, uh, I don't know if you've seen this movie, but um, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, which was also- well, I wanted to see it. You need to see it. It's, it's so good. Like, I, I love that we're getting like all of these multiverse type movies that are coming because we got Spider-Man No Way Home and then we got everything everywhere all at once and then now we have multiverse of madness so i'm looking forward to seeing like what's going to happen next like where is wanda at like i was talking with my friend about this earlier but i feel like wanda spoiler alert too if you're if you're already this far in i'm sorry but spoiler alert i think that wanda is going to end up in a different universe like she'll probably be like in the fox universe and that's how they'll bring the x-men over into the mcu i don't know what, what do you think I think that's a good theory. I feel like they kind of put her on a shelf for now, but she's such, I feel like maybe she's too OP, she's too powerful. And so they don't really know what to do with her at the moment. <laughs> yeah, no, I feel you on that. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, cause we know she's not dead. I want to know where Vision White is. Like there's so many questions, but we're not talking about uh, the MCU right now. We're doing an interview on who's that cosplayer with Sniffer Do cosplay, so Sniffer Do. Next question I have for you is, what has been one of your favorite moments from over the years from going to conventions? Um, I think I think it was like a couple of years after I started cosplaying, so maybe 2019. Um, my first cosplay ever was Shiro from Voltron. Nice. And um, I had the opportunity to join a group of cosplayers who were doing the Voltron group and um, bring Shiro to a convention again. And so the people I cosplayed with were really sweet and really nice. Um, 
and it's just really exciting to be able to like geek out about stuff with other people so to wear my first cosplay and kind of like revamp it but then also to be doing it with a group of people who love the same thing um i think that was my favorite con moment so uh a, fu <laughs> a funny one i think at the last convention we went to my dad was dressed up as all might and we were walking to a my hero meetup and when they all saw, saw him, they started chanting, Dad, Mike, Dad, Mike. And he was, <laughs> he was so confused. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Who's that cosplayer? It's Ruby Rose. That's <laughs> awesome. That's awesome, man. Like, I, that's one of the things that I love about going to cons, when you're cosplaying as characters, because uh, like I, I call cons multiverses of madness now because there's just so much stuff going on. Like uh, when I had went to Tidewater Comic Con recently, I was cosplaying as Deku, and there was one point where there I was surrounded by three uh, togas, and then it's just like after the three left, like two more had came out of nowhere, and I'm just like, yo, like what is up with all these togas? Like where, like where is Uraraka? Where is Todoroki? Like I need help. I need help here. So. It's just like, that's just one of the things. And like, you meet people at cons and then like you form these relationships with them. And then, you know, you can do future cosplays together and stuff like that. And that's one of the things that I love about cons. And you know, I'm gonna get to the JoJo stuff because I, I see that you did Jonathan, you done Josuke. Now I wanna ask you, what have been some of your favorite cosplays that you've done over the years before we get into deep dive into the JoJo stuff? Um. I like, <laughs> I think in the beginning, I was really excited for um, Shiro, Tadashi, and Yuri on Ice. I think they're really special because they're my first cosplays. Um, but more recently, I think I was happy with the way this my speed wagon came out. And also um, Shazam from like DC. I think that was really fun. Yeah, no, yeah. All of your cosplays are amazing, man. Like just... Now I can say, like, when I was putting the slideshow together and I was just looking through everything, that's one of my favorite parts of who's that cosplayer is putting the slideshows together because, you know, when, you, when you're when you looking at the photos, you only see everything that's at the top of the page. But then it's just like when you do the deep dive and, like, you see everything that you've done and, like, going back to the first costume and stuff like that, that's what I love. I just love looking at all of the costumes. Now... I can ask you about the JoJo stuff because, you know, you mentioned Speedwagon. I said, Jonathan, you've done Joseph. Now I want to know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, who is your favorite Joe star? I think the most entertaining Joe star to watch was Joseph. I think he's hilarious. He His is. part was so wacky and so different from part one. Um, but I guess um, I like Joe too. He's very friendly. <laughs> I want to cosplay as Josuke one day. Like he's he's my favorite uh, Joe star. I, he, uh, like I said, think you do an awesome job. Thank you. I mean, like I love cosplaying as Joe Taro. I I was telling my friends I was just like you know I think Joe Taro is my uh, is my comfort cosplay. I mean I like cosplaying as Deku, but Joe Taro, all I got to do is put on pants and a shirt and a jacket and I'm good to go. Deku. I got to suit up, put on the elbow pads, the knee. I'm just like, come on, man. Especially when it's hot. I'm just like, nah, I'm good. I love, I just love doing Jotaro. But okay, so now who is your favorite JoJo villain? Uh, JoJo villain, I think. So I think Cars. Um, mm, he was the one, of, time I've heard of it. one of the few, or one of the few times Araki decided to spare a dog. Um, and it was Cars <laughs> who did it. Very interesting choice. Um, I also like, I don't, he's not a big baddie, but he's kind of an antagonist. Um, Risotto Nero from part five. Mm. I think he's really interesting because his fight with Dokyo, it was really hard to watch, but really intense. Yeah. And he's kind of like Bruno in his own way. Like the more you watch and the more you see the squad, you're like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes sense. I mean, I never looked at it like that. But when you think about it, because it's like he has his own squad and he's just trying to complete his mission. 
and then like his guys are getting taken out and then it's the same thing with bruno's team and all that so, so yeah i've never even looked at it like that so now final jojo question which part is your favorite part i kind of have a feeling that i know which part it is but go ahead and su surprise me oh it's in, it's in between two and four <laughs> okay i mean i knew um, part four i knew part four was there okay I yeah like part four it's one of the like even though it's about a murder it's one of the happier parts um and part two i think what got me hooked on part two is that when you go into jojo's after seeing part one you expect part two to be like it but it's just so different yeah yeah i agree with you on that I, and i know a lot of people don't like part one i see i love jonathan i think that he's a perfect gentleman you know we get introduced to Dio. i enjoy part one deal more than part three deal even though they're the same person but it's just like you know as soon as he hops out of that carriage he kicks danny i'm just like come on man like and then the whole kono deal daughters it's like part one has this over the top moments but part two is really over the top and <laughs> i hear from a lot of jojo fans it's just like they weren't fans of part one but then once they got to part two like they really started enjoying the series and then of course we get to uh, the Dragon Ball Z of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure Part 3, which I do like. I, I like Part 3, but uh, I like Jotaro more in Part 4. He's he's more well-rounded compared to, I'm going to kick your ass. You pissed me off. I'm pissed now. I was just like, oh, okay. It's, it's funny, but it's just like all of the characters that surround Jotaro in Part 3 are are way more fleshed out than Jotaro is. He's just like, ah, I gotta save my mom. F her. <laughs> like, like, Jesus Christ, man. But no, but um, now I wanna ask you, when you're not cosplaying, like, what are some of your hobbies that you're into? Um, when I'm not cosplaying, I tend to read a lot of, like, manga and um, webtoons. I like those a lot. Nice. And um, I'm really big into, like, cleaning usually i try to like clean the house a lot and keep everything tidy um i don't care if like other people's spaces are messy but personally i enjoy like organizing things it makes me happy <laughs> no i feel that I, I mean and i think that that's an interesting hobby because when it comes to cleaning i feel like it requires uh, a certain ability to you know make sure that everything is like that if that makes any sense you know what I'm saying? Compared to, you know, uh, I just wiped it down. I'm done. But it's just like, no, it's just like, you have to spray this. You got to do this. It has to smell good. So it's like, I, I totally get that. And, you know, it's, I've heard that before from some people. Like, some people just love to clean. They, they, you know, start their morning off. Like, they'll tackle one room. Then they'll go to the next room. And they'll just keep on going. And then by the end of the day, they have a glass of wine. And they just say, yari yari. You know, and that, <laughs> that's pretty much it. So now I want to ask you, what are, give me your top five favorite animes of all time. Ooh, top five. Um, Auron High School Host Club, I like a lot. <laughs> um, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure is definitely worth watching because there's something for everyone in it. Uh -huh. um, My Hero. My Hero is a good entry level anime because JoJo's is very strange, but um, <laughs> My Hero is a little easier to get into. Um, this is my favorite anime of all time, Mob Psycho 100. Don't need to watch uh, that. I, I heard so many good things about it, man. In my opinion, it's better than One Punch Man, but One Punch Man is a little more well-known. I've heard that before as well. Um, last one, I think I'll plug, it's called Sket Dance. Um, it's an older anime, but it was one of my earlier ones I got into, and it's about a like club of students that helps people, and it's really funny. It's the same creators, I think, as as um, Gintama, so it's got a lot of humor in it. Nice, and and that's a nice list because you know some of the anime, of course, JoJo, My Hero, I know what that is. I've heard of uh, Orion Host Club, but I haven't watched it, but I've been recommended that. And then of course, like Mob Psycho, like that's another one that I've been recommended. I just need to, you know, get get the time to watch these shows. So thank you so much for letting me know your top five animes. And thank you so much for coming up here and being a guest on Who's That Cosplayer. So we are at the end of the interview. 
And I need one last thing for you. I need you to tell everybody in social media land where they can find Sniffer Do Cosplay at. Um, you can find me at snifferdo.cosplay on Instagram and TikTok. Awesome. Hey, and y'all know where y'all can find me, your hero Benjamin Banks at, at King Benji underscore Banks. On Twitter and Instagram, you can find me on Facebook at Benjamin Banks. I should be the first person to pop up. If not, then I need to contact Mr. Zuckerberg. Thank you again, Sniffer Do, for joining me up here on Who's That Cosplayer. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her on all of her social media accounts. Make sure that you check out some more of our interviews that we have here on the channel, along with reaction videos and reviews. Make sure that you check out our podcast with brand new episodes every Tuesday. The link is down below in the description. And then the video of that episode is up here on YouTube on Friday. So with that being said, keep that pinky up. Stay positive. We'll see you next time on Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Peace. Thanks again, everybody, for watching another episode of Leveling Up with Benjamin Banks. Make sure you like, follow, subscribe to the channel podcast. We got that, too. Make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that bell for further episodes and notifications. Thanks a lot to our patrons. And if you don't mind, join the Patreon. We'll be having new specials coming up soon.